cameras and scanning tech are fully functional. All right. Let's find Falcone. Good point of entry. subtlety. You make your round? Yeah. No broken bones. Still healing from the last time, I bet. All it took was a couple of C-notes this time. Nice and easy. Nice and easy my ass. I know you burned powder tonight. The whole city can smell it. Nothing here. The white rose. Falcone's symbol. The red rose after tonight. That's the most heavily guarded door in the building. Gotta be Falcone's hideout. Well, it won't be as easy as ringing the doorbell. Four armed guards. Stealth not an option. I'll put together a plan of attack. Stand by. A couple of options for taking this guy down. Attack. 
Not yet. Reactivating drone cameras. Ready when you are? Ugh. <sighs> 
lost, Falcon. I can do a few more rounds. <laughs> all right, all right. The chemicals. Where are they? What? I found your calling card at the docks. The white rose. You think I wanted to lead you here? Yeah, something reeks about this old thing. And it ain't a dead bat. Still want to play games? We're all being played here, couldn't you? Those chemicals get so riled up about. They're mine, all right? But someone is trying to cut me out of the deal because I did not make that mess at the dock. Then who did? No, oh, we're done. Gotham's watching now. Ah. Go ahead. Give him a show. I'll be walking free by tomorrow morning. City. Well, the Waynes are the biggest gangsters in Gotham. <laughs> Thanks for the assist. Now we only have to take one of you down. Open fire! be seen from street level. Tonight, the Skyline Club, a high-rise mafia hangout in downtown Gotham, was the arena for a clash between the notorious Batman and alleged mob boss Carmine Falcone, who was found dangling over a 50-story drop. Bet Falcone loved that view. Though I'd say the crime boss getting his is well overdue, Falcone has slipped through the law's grasp for years, but after this dramatic arrest and evidence released by the GCPD's Lieutenant Gordon, Falcone's going away for a long, long time. And speaking of newly uncovered criminal dealings, this brings me to the story everyone is talking about, the Wayne family. For generations, the big W on the Wayne Enterprises Tower was a reassuring sight. You knew that there was something pure at the heart of Gotham, that this city, for all its faults, was built by good people. But with Thomas and Martha's shining reputation called into question, we no longer have such assurances. And even worse, it seems the apple hasn't fallen far from the tree. Gotham's greatest son, Bruce Wayne, seen here in the company of gangsters, may be just as crooked as his parents. In his defense, Wayne fired back saying, this story about my family is exactly that. A story. It's a work of fiction all the way through. In a world where the Waynes, our golden family, are corrupt, who are we left with? Who can Gothamites look up to? The supposed hero Batman? Only time will tell. Meanwhile, we'll keep digging for the truth. But the prominent feeling throughout Gotham is that the Waynes' time in the sun is ending. This entire cave. Master Bruce? Everything I built. I created all of this because I didn't want any more innocent people to die. If Falcone's telling the truth about my parents, then what the hell did we do this for? Bruce, I... What have you been hiding from me? Alfred!